Hello. In this video guide, I will show you how to dual boot with two different ROMs, say Android 4.3 TouchWiz ROM and Android 4.4 and 4 KitKat ASP Cyanogen Mod ROM. So for this, install ROM Switcher app and open it. Grant root access been prompted. Tap the name of the first and second ROM here, even if you haven't installed second ROM yet. I plan to install CM11 as second ROM. Do not enable app sharing and data sharing. These are experimental features and most often result in bootleg problems. Now it will then initiate a download, exit the app and let the download finish. Launch the app again after the download. It will ask you to reboot. Tap yes and your phone will be rebooted. After reboot, launch the app again. Do not select second room yet as you have not installed second room. Tap on more button. We have several options here. We can also enable third and fourth room here if you want quad boot. Check manual boot option so that on every boot you will be prompted to select a room. Now tap on reboot to ROM switcher recovery. You will need to reboot to this specific recovery each time you want to install second ROM or manage other installed ROMs. Now navigate to ROM switcher option in recovery here. Here you can select the room you want to manage. Select second room here. Now you have all the usual options to manage second room. You can install any room be it Cyanogen Mod 11 or some other KitKat room or Jelly Bean room as second room. Just choose install zip from internal or external SD card option and then select the room zip file you downloaded onto your phone. I'm going to install KitKat based CM11 unofficial room for my phone. This build of CM11 is not official and has certain bugs like low mic volume during call, which are being rapidly fixed but there is no harm trying and testing the latest flavor of Android on your phone as you can always choose TouchWiz room on reboot with room switcher app. In fact, I would highly recommend to use ROM switcher app to install or test new ROMs as you can easily switch back and forth at reboot. Once the installation is done, go back and reboot. Select second ROM. Now here we have CM11. You can see we have Android 4.4.2 version here. How smooth the phone is. The new dialer app.
Room Switcher app is automatically installed as well. You can see RAM usage. One of the perks of Cyanogen Mod ROM. We have about 1.3 GB free RAM. Let's launch ROM Switcher app and allow root access to it. Now let us go back to Samsung TouchWiz room to see if we can easily switch. You can see it works great. Now we can enjoy the latest KitKat room as well as TouchWiz room. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to ask your questions or doubts in comments. Do subscribe to our channel for more such videos.